This person is suffering from asthma. Young and old suffer from asthma all over the world. Asthma affects our breathing mechanism. Asthma, to be uh, properly defined in the scientific terms, is known as uh, airway obstruction of the airways or the branching tubes which carry air deep into the lungs. So this constricts, that is the diameter of this uh, tube will come down. As we breathe, air moves in and out through the branching tubes situated in our lungs. The tubes in the lungs of asthma patients are sensitive to dust, smoke, etc. and become narrowed. As a result of this narrowing, they cannot breathe easily or freely. They cough, wheeze and fight for breath while the attack is on. Doctors say that modern medicine or any other system of medicine can only control or prevent asthma, but not cure it. At the moment with the available knowledge, we are not using the word cure for asthma. We can only use the term control of asthma. Since the research is still going on about the exact cause of asthma, we can at the moment with the available drugs control asthma to give a very good symptom free life to the patient. Probably cure is another 5 to 10 years away. But the Bhattini brothers of Hyderabad claim they have a cure for asthma. Their medicine is popularly called the fish medicine. For the last 150 years, the Bhattini brothers of the Gaud family of Hyderabad, Andhra Pradesh, have been administering the fish medicine as a family tradition to lakhs of asthma sufferers every year. The Bhattani family claims to have received the formula of this medicine from a yogi long ago and the formula is kept a family secret. This is Harunath Gaud, the present family head, giving a few details about the origin of the medicine. In the year 1845, a yogi from Himalayas met his great-grandfather Viranna Gaud. The yogi was impressed with the service-minded nature of Viranna Gaud and revealed to him the formula of the medicine. The yogi laid it down that the medicine should be given free to the sufferers. If money is accepted, the medicine would not work. Since the time of their great-grandfather, the medicine is being given free to the patients. Harinath Gaud says that the family spends 30 to 40,000 rupees every year in preparing the medicine. The ingredients of the formula are brought from Himalayas and other places and prepared in Hyderabad. The medicine is prepared with water drawn from the family well of the Gauds. It is said that the water in this well never dries up. There is another interesting point about the fish medicine. The medicine is administered only on the first day of Mrigasira Karte every year. A variety of fish called maral fish is used as the medium for this medicine. The medicine is prepared in a paste form. This paste is first stuffed into the mouth of a live maral fish. This fish, which is about 2 to 3 inches in size, is then thrust live into the throat of the patients who swallow it in one gulp. The gouge say that this fish has the capacity to fully clear the lungs of the patient as no other variety can. Anatomy of that maral fish, it has got some hair on its back, which when it goes inside, 
uh, it cleans up the phlegm which is uh, in the chest and after certain, after some 15 20 seconds when the fish expires I mean, when the fish dies then this uh, medicine is uh, slowly it gives in a prolonged suppose you are given a pill it acts immediately but uh, this one as the fish disintegrates it gives a prolonged uh, a supply of that medicine after swallowing the fish medicine the patients are given pills prepared by the gout family to be taken fortnightly in the morning and evening with hot water for three consecutive fortnights. They have to follow certain dietary restrictions. No side effects are experienced by the patients. But the patients should not take any other medicine during this period. This medicine should be taken for three consecutive years. Good results are seen even in the first year itself. If the instructions are followed strictly, a hundred percent cure is also assured. I am from the village. My name is Amarlal. I am from the shop in the Prince Shorum. I am 40 years old. I have been living for 5-7 years. 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 Yes, we are from Rajasthan. हमारा नाम मेरा नाम सुल्ताना है इसका नाम शैला है शी इज़ माय डॉटर इसको दो साल से है मुझे बीस साल से हुआ है इनका बहुत नाम सुने तभी इधर आए और हमारे कज़न को भी था वैसे उन्होंने बोला बुलाया कि उनको भी एकदम साफ हो गया तब हम आए इफ यू कॉल इफ यू कैन कॉल एलोपैथी एज अ साइंटिफिक मेडिसिन इफ द साइंटिफिक मेडिसिन इज नॉट एबल टू रीच एवरी सिंगल इंडिविजुअल सफरिंग फ्रॉम दैट पर्टिकुलर डिजीज ऑटोमेटिकली there is what is known as an alternative therapies available for the patient. Take for example cancer. When we say we have no cure for cancer, certain types of cancer, you will find there are many cancer centers offering magic cure. Similarly, for a disease like asthma, where we do not yet uh, use the term cure for asthma, uh, there will be several alternative therapies available for such a disease. So, it is a matter of uh, inadequacy of one system which is being filled up by another system. Among the patients who are under my care who also take the yearly fish medicine, I can say that they are taking it just in the hope that something might turn up. But monitoring them, I can tell that it has not made any difference to the patient. Though doctors say that the fish medicine does not cure asthma, lacks of asthmatics from all over the world have been coming forward to receive the fish medicine. Why is the number increasing year by year if it's not working well? Asks Arunath Gaur. The Bhattini brothers do not intend to patent the medicine. Firstly, the formula, which is a family secret, has to be revealed if it has to be patented. Secondly, patenting results in commercializing the medicine. The Bhattani brothers feel that if commercialized, the medicine will lose its effectiveness. The Indian and international media have given wide publicity to the fish medicine of Hyderabad. So, in June every year, at the advent of Brigasirakarte, all roads lead to Hyderabad. Special trains and buses bring young and old, men and women and children from all parts of the country and the globe to Hyderabad to receive the fish medicine.